everyone, how are you? Welcome one more day to the YouTube channel. I'm Nuria Cabezas and today we are going to learn about the circular breathing. The materials we need to do the exercise will be a glass of water and a drinking straw. The fragment of music I've just played belongs to the study number 5 by Gilles Silvestrini called Saint de Place, Ciel de Rage. Playing this piece of music could be a good opportunity to give this technique a chance. If you want to see the full video, click here. What is circular breathing and what is it for? The circular breathing is the ability to breathe out while we breathe in at the same time. The first thing we all think when we start the process of learning the circular breathing is that it is humanly impossible. And actually, it is impossible. The trick is that we are not doing the both part of the process exactly at the same time. The key of the process. We have muscles in our cheeks that are able to work independently from the normal breathing mechanism. Cheek muscles allow us to keep air in our mouth and breathe out using them, like this way. Okay, now we are going to understand how it works in a few steps. Step 1. Hold air in your cheeks while you breathe normally through your nose. Step 2. Push the air out from your mouth using your fingers. Attention! Use only the air that is kept inside your mouth. Step 3. Push the air in silence and breathe in once at the same time. It may help if you put the palm of your hand in front of your mouth so you can feel the air coming out. Step 4. Push the air from your mouth and breathe in through your nose to refill the air inside your mouth again. For this movement, try to use the muscles in your face, around your mouth and the muscles below here in the chin to help the air refill again inside of your mouth. It may help if you think in a vertical, horizontal movement to the inside to help the air coming again into, into your mouth. Step 5. Take a glass of water and a straw. We will repeat the process exactly like before. The first time only when the air inside of our mouth. The second time we will breathe in through our nose once. And the third time we will do all the process in once.
bubbles steady while you breathe in and put some of that air inside of your mouth again. Also, it's possible to pinch a little bit the straw, so we have some resistance like the instrument does itself. Repeat the process as many times as you want, but at least for two weeks before you take your instrument. Step 6. Take your instrument and apply the entire process. The first time you apply this technique to your instrument, probably it will sound something like this. Don't worry, it's completely normal, it happened to all of us. Probably you are doing too much pressure in your embouchure, so I will suggest you to use an easy read and relax all your body. Afterwards, what will happen probably is that the sound will travel while you breathe in. It will sound something like Don't worry, it's normal. Now we are going to see why. That's because there is a lack of pressure in the column air. We need to equilibrate the pressure from the diaphragm with the pressure inside our mouth. At the very beginning, I would suggest you to practice this technique with trills or scales. this technique in a long steady note is the hardest part, so better we will keep that for later on. Step 7. Practice, practice, practice a little bit more, go practicing, more practice, and practice again. <laughs> Normally it takes a few months of practice, so don't worry, be patient, because once you get this technique, it will last forever. Tips! When do we use the circular breathing? Circular breathing does not replace the normal breathing and musical pauses. So it won't be used if we can breathe normally between phrase and phrase. The circular breathing is really useful when the phrase or musical work is so long that it's humanly impossible to play it all through, only breathing once at the beginning. For example, Le Api by Antonio Pasculi lasts for six minutes without stopping for taking air. Can you imagine play the ovo for six minutes without taking breath? Maybe in the future it's possible, but now it's completely impossible. So at this moment, it's when the circular breathing becomes really useful. Warning! I do not recommend you use the circular breathing unless it is necessary, because it will create unnecessary tension in our bodies and also embouchure. Recapitulation. We are going to recapitulate with some simple images that may help you to understand the process. Point 1. Pay attention about the difference between the air from your lungs and the air from your mouth. That's the key of the process. Point 2. Breathing only once you have air inside your mouth and not before. Point 3. Breathe out the air from your mouth and from your lungs and keep some inside your mouth for the next time. Point 4. And repeat the process.
This was all for today. Good luck to everyone with the circular breathing technique. I really hope that this video will help you. Work hard and take it easy. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you like it to get the notifications about the new videos and follow me in my social network like Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. See you very soon in the next video. Bye!